been compromised. He's been in a sucking place for 10 years. All right. He's been like that because he's willing to do any and everything for money. He would align himself with overt white supremacists. He would align, he would align himself with people who literally hate his guts. Hate him for every fabric of his body. He's willing to align himself with those kind of people. And again, like I keep talking about uh, mental health in black society. We all suffer from it, especially guys like Kanye, who suffer from mental disorders like Stockholm Syndrome, cognitive dissonance, post-traumatic slavery disorder slash syndrome, right? He's too far gone. He can't look back. Okay, so, you know, what he's doing right now on on Twitter and, and social media, that's nothing new. Nobody should be shocked or surprised, you know? He's been acting like that for for damn 10 years. OK. Um, and, you know, he's going on these social media outbursts because he has a project coming out. He got a, a couple albums coming out and, and, and other stuff regarding his um, his easy line and all that stuff. So he chose he chooses that kind of marketing campaign so that people like us can talk about it. OK. And it's obviously working because I'm making a video about it. I'm talking about it. But again, I know what he's doing. I know why he's doing it. Right. Because black people who want to make buku money, millions of dollars without sacrificing their integrity. Right. Without sacrificing their overall blackness. If you are willing to do that, right, you're going to be white balled from all nine areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex and war. And you'll have to go on the grassroots level, which a very few percentage of black people can successfully uh, complete. Right. So. You have to align yourself with resources owned and controlled by the dominant white society, which is what Kanye is doing and has been doing for 10 years. Over a decade, basically. Um, so, yeah, like I said, with the outburst of, of, of Kanye West, nothing new. I'm not surprised him talking about, uh, you know, uh Donald Trump is great and he has the make America great again hat on. You know, um, he's saying that even though I don't agree with Donald Trump a lot, I still love him. We are dragon energies or some shit like that. You know, some dude is on one. We, we know this. He's been like, again, he's been compromised for for 10 years, over a decade, basically. He's been compromised. You know, when he's willing to. Uh, He's willing to do anything for money to expand his brand, which basically means compromising your integrity and your blackness. And when you're willing to do that, you have to align yourself with all resources owned and controlled by the dominant white society. It's just that simple. And what I also wanted to talk about is that, you know, White supremacy and saying those words, you know, I saw some posts on social media. I think um, Tariq, Tariq Nasheed and a couple of other people who um, uh, are trying to demonize the word white supremacy and saying we shouldn't use that because we're giving those kind of people uh, enough power, enough ammo. And that is necessary. Using those words White supremacy is necessary. It's needed because you have to identify your oppressor. You have to identify the history of racism. And that is by the dominant white society. People classified as white. It's history. So you don't see. um, It's history, right? For over 500 years. 
people classified as white has dominated, subjugated, disenfranchised, mistreated people classified as uh, black for over 500 years because of the since the inception of the transatlantic slave trade. That's history. That is history. That is what that's when racism right racism came into effect it came into effect because of the transatlantic slave trade that's all historical facts and so you have to identify that there's only one form of racism and that's white supremacy white supremacy and racism are synonymous all right now again you have to understand there is a difference between racism and being a racist. Anybody can be a racist because it basically consists of name calling. But systemically, that's what racism is. Practicing systemic racism. Institutionalized racism. Only one group of people can do that throughout history, and that is people classified as white. Point blank and simple. Those are facts. That's history right there. So, again, white supremacy is racism. Racism is white supremacy. Those words, white supremacy, is a necessity because you have to identify your oppressor. Black supremacy is an oxymoron. We can't supreme over, we can't reign supreme over anything. We can't even reign supreme over our own, <laughs> of our own environment. There's no such thing as black supremacy. That's an oxymoron. There's no history of black supremacy. If you want to say, oh, well, you guys had your own, uh, uh, you guys had your own black communities in the 50s and the in the 40s. We were allowed to have those communities. During the Jim Crow era, those laws, those statues, those black codes, those meritorious manumission laws were all written by the by people classified as white, the dominant white society. We were allowed to be in those particular areas. Same thing today. We're allowed to do certain things. Because of those laws being uh, written and ratified and changed and off the books and on the books, those all those laws are written by them. I'm not saying that that defines black. What I'm saying is that we don't write those laws. As far as black people, we don't we don't write those laws. We don't ratify those laws. We have nothing to do with that. The dominant white society has right. That's that's my point. Right. So, yes, white supremacy and saying those words is necessary because we have to identify our oppressors. We have to say that white supremacy is racism. Racism is white supremacy. Those two, those two are synonymous. They're the same thing. There's only one form of racism, and that's white supremacy, and that's. That's it. Bottom line. All right. So, again, like I said, with Kanye, Kanye is has been far gone and been in a second place for damn near over 10 years. And he's only doing these, these these rants and stuff like that because he's coming out with 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 albums and EPs and stuff like that. You know, but he's too far gone. I've been I've you talk about racial draft. I've been traded. Uh. Kanye West, a long ass time ago, <laughs> since that Dave Chappelle skit. Yeah, I, I, I've been, I've been, uh, got, got, got rid of uh, Kanye, man, for real. But anyway, family, this a uh, real quick video. Just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys regarding Kanye West and, um, you know, this thing about white supremacy. The, those words are being demonized and stuff like that. Just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. All right, family. So anyway. Until next time, family, make sure you follow me on my social medias, G-M-O-G Media TV. Just Google that. You'll find Instagram, Twitter. Everything's all the same. 
Till next time, family Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out.